January the 11th, 1879, the deadline ran out. The British army, led by Lord Chelmsford, moved into Zululand. The main column, nearly 5,000 men and 1,500 oxen, made slow progress. At four o'clock on the morning of January the 22nd, Chelmsford fell into the Zulu trap. He split his forces and headed east. Those left behind made few defensive preparations. Tents and soldiers were now strung out across the plain. Unknown to the British, Cetchwayo had an army of 20,000 men, less than four miles away. At midday, a mounted British patrol stumbled across the Zulu army. The Zulus set off in pursuit of the British troops. Back in the camp, the soldiers were relaxed. Many had fought in other African wars and were confident they could defeat the Zulus. They were completely unprepared for the massive force bearing down on them. Cetchwayo's army drew up in the classic Zulu military formation, the chest and two horns, and attacked from three sides. <laughs> 